Radical. Well, well, well. Looky here, looky here. I do believe the price is right. This is from Best Buy, the PlayStation Classic. I think here and Target is currently $19.99. It's $40 off its $59.99 price. Now, this is uh, a GameStop, I think, is $39.99. At Walmart, I called. I was curious. And it's $39.99 at Walmart, too. But $19.99, I mean, that's like a tank of gas right there. That's chicken scratch. It's not a whole lot for this right here. Now, it was $100. Believe it or not, uh, this stinker was $100. Had only 20 games on it, and one of them was Rainbow Six. The controllers, yeah, you get two, but they didn't have analogs. I don't think they uh, had the uh, vibrate function. Uh, a lot of the games, uh, they ran as the uh, PAL version. You know, the the speed was all off. So a lot of things to hate about this at $99.99. But $19.99, actually, I think maybe the system should have released at about $19.29.99, something like that for what it was. It would have sold a lot better uh, than it did. But, but now the reason I would want it is to mod it. I would want to mod it, add a lot of games to it. I never got the chance to play. Uh, I hear Bloody Roar is really good. Uh, Soul Blade. I played Soul Calibur. Haven't played Soul Blade. So that'd be really cool to try out. Uh, I could put the other Tekkens on there. Uh, Final Fantasy VII. I played through that one, but never played. I, which one I didn't? I don't think I played nine. I think I played eight. I didn't play nine. But uh, I'm just curious to see what kind of ROMs are available out there. Uh, Fighting Force, I heard, was kind of interesting. It's like a one of the few beat 'em ups on the uh, console. But yeah, I would get this thing and and modded modded out like crazy. I heard Bleem Sync. Is that what they're using to mod it now? Uh, I've never really modded a console, but here's the cool thing: is not really difficult, not terribly difficult to mod this. I think you just need a USB drive. But uh, there's a there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube about how to mod it. It's not that hard to mod. You know, I've seen people do it their first try. I've read uh, read people do it on Reddit. They're like, I've never modded anything before, but this was the easiest thing ever to mod. So the idea that you could get this at the low, low price of a tank of gas for 20 bucks, you get this thing and, you know, you're playing hundreds of games on it through, you know, in an HD uh, TV, you know. And, and the cool thing is I could record gameplay into my HD PVR from this like I do my Xbox One and 360, and uh, sometimes I could upload, you know, PS1 game uh, gameplay. That would be kind of exciting for me to do on the channel. So yeah, a lot of you that has this, uh, tell me, you know, how easy was it to mod for you, and how many games, what's the most amount of games you've got on this? So yeah, 20 bucks, you know, get them while you can.